Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year! It's a new year, it's 2019 already. Um, so I'm wishing you guys a happy new year. Um, first video of 2019. And I know a lot of you guys are working on your vision boards and your New Year's resolutions and that kind of stuff. But I feel like there's one area where we tend to forget or we let it get out of hand or just don't control it. And that small area ends up affecting the big plans that we have for the year ahead. And that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. Like I said, most of us are doing vision boards and that kind of thing. But have you ever set a goal for the year or set a resolution or put something on your vision board um, let's say for example you put um, you want to lose weight or you want to exercise more but then the confession of your mouth or the things that you say like ah man I've always been lazy like so I'm just a lazy person you know what I mean which is a contradiction to a goal of yours or something that you have on your vision board that's what I'm going to talk about today guys the stuff that we say the stuff that comes out of our mouths about ourselves and about other people so stay tuned and let's get into it let's get into it all right so i'm going to be sharing a few scriptures because y'all know that scripture is the basis right like so i'm going to refer to a few scriptures and i'll link them in the description box below so that you guys can refer to them as well the first one that i want to talk about in relation to um, New Year's resolutions and that kind of stuff is the scripture from Proverbs 18 21 and most of us know the scripture um, But I think we don't realize the magnitude of the scripture or that it's actually true And if you take a look at your life and the stuff that let's say from last year that you plan to do And how you have confessed or what you've confessed over your life throughout 2018 and how that affected you accomplishing your goals so the first one is life and death are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit so basically the things that we say is it's either or there's no gray area really um, so it's either you're speaking life or you're speaking death over your situation even over other people and that's something that I realized um, like that the things that I say about other people affect those people's lives. Do you know what I mean? Those are the laws that God has set in place that, um, for example, he says in, in Genesis that um, he created us in his likeness and in his image. Every single human being. That's why I can speak something into existence. You know what I mean? Or like stuff, stuff that I say creates things or manifests things that weren't there before I spoke about it. So that's the first one that i want to talk about is that the power of life and death are in the tongue so guys if you have plans or hopes that you have for your life but you're constantly speaking death over yourself you're constantly saying that you're going to fail even though you've created all these vision boards and you have all these resolutions written down if you're not speaking life if you're not speaking um the positive things that god sees about you or that god thinks about you which you can only get to know by reading the word then really you're contradicting there's no point in writing resolutions if you're just gonna speak death like some um there's a there's a saying where it says don't break down um in with doubt what you built up in faith i would like to say don't break down with your words what you built up in faith because having a vision board having resolutions there's some ounce of faith that you have that you will be able to accomplish those things you know what i mean or else you wouldn't even think to write it or you wouldn't even take the time out of your life to write those things down and another thing that i want to just um dispel is the one that says um <laughs> most of us know it sticks and stones may break my bones but words would never harm me guys another one i beg to differ that actions speak louder than words guys the words do so much damage or they do so much building um and i'll get into the next scripture which basically talks about the power of the tongue and how something so small can have such a huge impact in our lives and in the lives of other people so it's from james 1 to 11 so basically um in this scripture they're likening your tongue to one um a bit that's put in the mouth of a horse to basically control it like with the rain thingy that thing that that thing okay so 
that's the first comparison that they make that that small bit that you put in the mouth of a horse affects the whole body the whole movement the direction in which that horse moves and then they make another likening um, to a very small rudder um, on a ship and this small rudder um, is used to basically uh, drive strong winds um, and steer the ship and it's like this very small pipe controls this huge mechanism so basically it says um, likewise the tongue is a small part of the body but makes great boasts consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark um, and then it goes on to say the tongue also is a fire a word a world of evil among the parts of the body it corrupts the whole body sets the whole course of one's life on fire and itself set on fire by hell okay let's do and then <laughs> So guys, this is just like the Bible isn't just um, a bunch of nice little sayings, but these are things that God has put in his word to guide us through our lives, to show us that, okay, this is how I created you. I created you to have the power to speak things into being like I did in the beginning. So he's giving us these um, guidelines, these tips for life that, okay, speak life over any situation. And again, sometimes we'll say stuff like nah it's just facts you know what i mean it's just facts of the situation but for me it's like okay there's facts and then there's the truth you know and for me the truth is the word of god because your circumstance might look a certain way but then god goes and says something different about the circumstance um and for me that's what i look at as the truth so i just wanted to encourage you guys to just be conscious of the words that you speak over your life the words that you speak over other people's lives um that you don't um counteract the positive things that you've put in place or that you you want to set in place in your life by the words that you speak over your situation or over your life or over the lives of other people and whenever i make these videos <laughs> I have like I'm challenged by the stuff that I speak about guys it's not like I have it down like even when I was thinking about this I was like Lord yeah I need to just you know speak life over situations and speak life over myself um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys with that um, starting out the new year that speak life guys um, think before you speak and just think to yourself okay am i speaking life or am i speaking death what am i gaining by speaking death over the situation and honestly like <laughs> it doesn't take that much energy to say positive things and i agree with the saying that says if you have nothing good to say then don't say anything because your words have the power of life and death so I hope this helps you guys um, I hope this encourages you to just be positive and speak positively and also think positively and the best way to do that like is to be in the Word of God so that it can renew our minds because sometimes we come a long way thinking negatively or having negative views of situations and the word is the only thing that can truly change our mind change the way we think change the way we look at situations or deal with situations so I hope you guys are encouraged and again I'll link the scriptures that I spoke about in the description box. I hope you guys have an amazing year. Um, thank you for watching my video and I'm just super excited about this year. Um, yeah, just encouraging you guys and um, helping you grow in your relationship with Christ. So y'all, yes. happy new year guys. Have a good one. Um, lots of love. Bye.